Hey, yeah, uh, my name's Eleanor, and I've recently finished the Safe and Sound Protocol through my practitioner. I was initially suggested the protocol um, as I'd been a long-standing client um, getting nutrition and dietitian services from my practitioner. Um, there was also a few chronic illnesses that I've been dealing with on and off, um, things like chronic fatigue and EBV. And my practitioner suggested the Safe and Sound Protocol um, really at the end of most of my nutritional treatments. And when I first read about it, I sort of understood that it was dealing with the vagus nerve. And I had heard of the term uh, polyvagal theory before, so I looked into it. I watched all the videos on my practitioner's website um, and basically I felt that this is something that could benefit me. I also do have a background um, of a lot of traumas, um, so more in line with the complex PTSD and I just was really curious to try this program. Now I've written down some things um, about uh, my journey with doing the five days um, because I was looking for videos all over to sort of give me an overview and I thought it'll be a really good idea to to run through it. So the first thing is there is five hours and I did definitely did not do one hour each day for five days. I staggered mine. So with the advice of my practitioner, I started on 20 minutes a day. Um, and day one and two on 20 minutes, I had my headphones. I really started to feel the difference. It was, it was almost like a lightness, like a calmness, like a lightness that um, kind of put a blanket of calmness over everything, if, if that's the best way to describe it. Now, when I got to day three, this is where I upped it to 30 minutes. So I did one day of 30 minutes of listening to the music. I made sure that I had the fan off. I was laying in bed, relaxing my body. Um, and I felt okay after the 30 minutes, but the next day I was just really cranky and irritable and fatigued. Um, so I reached out to my practitioner and it was suggested that I definitely go back down to 20 um, and not carry on with the 30 minutes. So I ended up going back to the 20 minutes and that was really good. Now, I will warn you, day three is where I had a lot of emotions and grief that were coming up. Um, it felt like a purging. Um, now, at the time of doing the SSP program, I was going through a lot of emotional stresses, um, a lot of changes as well, because I had moved uh, not only house, but state. So definitely day three is, um, it obviously took me a couple of days to get through it doing the 20 minutes, but I just made sure um, that I was taking it easy, um, doing lots of healing things like my daily practices of meditation, going for nature walks, things like that. Now, I thought I could up it to 30 minutes on day four, but um, I still felt that the 20 minutes would be good. Um, so I staggered along doing 20 minutes um, in day four and five. And I definitely felt that day four and five was a breeze compared to day three. Now, I have been reading about this program that you should be in contact with people. Um, so, you know, doing it isolated maybe isn't a good idea. Um, I live with my family, but I also felt, especially during day three, that I did not want to be social. I wanted to be very much with myself um, 
and very much unraveling um, the the emotions that were were coming up. There was a feeling of um, balancing out and that general calmness in day four and five. Um, so day three was the peak, and then day four and five, uh, really things just started to to balance out. Uh, I also noticed um, really strangely that I started to um, take more care of my appearance towards day four and five. So that could have been um, things things like that fog lifting and um, the, the over-analyzing and, and those um, melancholy feelings maybe starting to level out because I did notice... I was taking better care of my appearance and um, I was reaching out to people a lot more um, in day five than, than I would have uh, in day two or three. Uh, now, this program, I think it would be wonderful if combined um, with other practices like meditation I had a kinesiology, for some of you that are familiar with kinesiology, I had a kinesiology session uh, during the Safe and Sound Protocol, which um, was really nice. Um, read a lot of self-development books, so I was really emerged in healing those childhood traumas and looking um, at things like abandonment wounds and grief. Um, and having my audible books and listening to myself develop and doing my meditation um, and perhaps if you're also attending therapy this would be wonderful like a wonderful wonderful addition um, to to sort of tie it all in uh, so it's been about five days since I have finished the protocol and I'm feeling really balanced um, definitely that social anxiety or worry before going somewhere has completely gone. Um, there is a sense of lightness. There is more of a sense of um, wanting to go out and socialize. And this, um, I haven't had experience with um, um, any of my children doing it or anything like that. But I keep reading about the social aspect of it. And I definitely do find just small things like talking to strangers at the gym, um, being being open to um, to having um, that face to face discussion with strangers, and just having that feeling of um, no anxiety about going anywhere or having an inter a social interaction with anybody. So this is. Uh, five days after the protocol and I am very very curious to see how I will feel uh, three weeks from now um, a month after the protocol and I will do an update um, on that um, but yeah so far really good um, and if you are thinking about this program definitely do some more research listen to more videos um, online because I think this this could be the the missing puzzle for a lot of people that have already done a lot of work, that have been eating right, that have been doing all of the nutritional things, but they just feel um, that their chronic illnesses or um, some of the behaviours from past experiences um, and from um, protecting yourself because you're not well for so long. I definitely feel this is the missing puzzle um, for a lot of people out there. So if you've made it this far, thank you very much for watching.